It seems silly in hindsight, the United States military being so afraid of Jack Wilson and his magic shirts and dances. I heard a story once about a rogue construction worker. Got bored one day on his lunch break and just started chucking rocks into the ditch. Chucks a couple, and all of a sudden, here's a big clang. One of the rocks he'd thrown must have hit something metal down in the ditch. So he goes to investigate. Goes and lifts up the brush. And there's a car sitting under there. Real old, had to be 20, 30 years old. Just completely rusted out. Front end smashed in, wrapped around a tree. Inside the car, though, was four skeletons. Must have gotten trapped in the car after the accident. Who knows how long they sat there. Nothing left but moldering bones. There was to be no tidal wave of new soil, no returning of dead relatives, no abundance of fresh game. Only a last desperate stand and a steady stream of federal bullets. I've always been under the impression that the universe would end with some kind of fiery collapse into a single point of infinite density which would then be the seed of the universe's ultimate rebirth into something new and better. The universe, propelled by a force that science has since dubbed dark energy, is expanding, and will continue to expand for all eternity. Unfortunately, the amount of matter in the universe does not expand, it will grow, and that level will remain constant despite the continual expansion of the universe around it. At some point, there will be four quadrillion light years of space between every single electron. That's so close to nothing that there's no real difference.